All right, so this is the next video. It's a continuation of the first one um, on how to create a custom field from Facebook lead, right? Facebook lead form, sorry. Um, so after we create our custom field using single option, we want to come here and map the actual form, right? And also in the ad copy, um, in the ad uh, on Facebook, this is a duplicated form. So, you know, we just only duplicate it so we can just copy and paste everything. So now that we finish the jobs, what we can do here is just close it and then save it. Are you sure you want to close the lead form will cause any work progress to be lost, right? So we just want to close it and we want to keep using our old one, right? And make sure that, you know, you'll get the name of the old one as well. So make sure you get the name of the form correct and the the name of the form is the one that you're actually using for your uh, campaign, right? So this is the name, the same name of the form. So naming is very, very important. Every time you create a form, create a unique name that you can recall later on. So you want to click at the bottom, uh, the, the far left button here called map field. And you want to actually map the whole field, right? So we just create um, this field form, uh, this custom field. Uh, on the last video so now we want to go ahead and use it right so what is your electricity bill and do you own a home right and with email facebook form have an email field so basically the system asking you that uh how do i show this so basically the system asking you how do all right i'm just going to duplicate the form again so i can better clearly show you right so the system asking us this email from Facebook, what does that equal to in our app.weekline? Because it's going to pull that data from there, right? So um, so email from Facebook equal to email field in app.weekline. Full name on Facebook equal to full name on app.weekline, right? So this is Facebook and this is app.weekline, right? They have a header there. And we're asking them about street address. So street address and Facebook equal to address, right? So, you know, it's address there. So phone number on Facebook equal to phone, right? And this is very important. Uh, a lot of VA make mistake on this one because we have two field. I think we have two field on to, nope, I was wrong, right? So make sure mobile number equal to phone. Right, and then we go ahead and save it. Right, so and then when you select save, it's now a say the status is active and it have a green fat, a fat green text uh, next to it. And then you can always turn it on and off by this tangle. Right, right, so in the next lesson, we're going to show you how to actually test it from the head until the bottom.